morning to all i am here to explain about web scripting you know all uh, about web what is meant by web web is a collection of web pages here you have to know about web page what is meant by web page web page is a collection of websites then what is meant by website website is a collection of pages okay for example you have a, you have one book means in that book you have so many pages like that one web page may contain many pages okay so this collection of web uh, pages is called as web okay so web up is a uh, web or uh, world wide web it is also called w3 is basically a system of internet servers that support specially formatted documents in 1990 tim berners lee of cern okay cern means the european laboratory for practical physics uh, he developed the world wide web and several communication protocols that form the backbone of the web okay he is the backbone he is the person developed the backbone of the web okay and then what is meant by script so script is it is script or script language is a computer language okay so with the series of commands within a file so that is capable of being executed without being compiled note this point here without being compiled okay here you have to know about open source what is meant by open source it allowing users to view and edit the script if needed that, that means user didn't pay any amount they can access that script okay or uh, source easily so here easy to port between different operating systems so you can easily uh, connect operating uh, system in a different manner okay so much faster to develop than an actual program so you can develop your program very easily compared with an actual program yes okay. so scripting is a very easily accessible uh, program okay so this program is created very easily so what is mean by here web scripting so already i told what is mean by web and what is mean by scripting here we combine this web and scripting so web scripting uses small programs that are executed based on user interaction with the web page okay so here we are writing one small program means through that program user can interact with that web page do you understand so scripting is widely used as part of web development so scripting is widely used for a, for what purpose web development so scripting allows you turn a simple same time static and html page into a more dynamic page okay do you understand okay here uh, we are uh, we will uh, run our web script in a two places first one is client side another one is server side i think uh, all of you know about what is mean by client and server okay client is who is requesting the data from some other person means this person is called client okay then who is server server is a program which is giving data to the or response to the client request okay so here client side and the server side uh, this web script is uh, web, web script should be run okay so client side also called um, front end server side also called as back end okay client refer to the web browser used to view a web page client refers to the web browser web browser then it is used to view a web page 
we know uh, the web browser what is mean web browser web browser is a program which is used to uh, show the program or collect the program to users side okay server so server refers to the computer server that host the website so server only host the website here i am showing one diagram which is used to uh, know the work of script okay here see number 1 as client and number 2 web i mean client requesting the, the data any data uh, to the web server okay so that we are giving error to the web server and then this web server replying uh, the client then this uh, then the client interact with the uh, script interpreter and then script interpreter connect with the html page okay so then this html page is returned to the client side okay this is the process of or working of script okay how uh, the page is returned to the client okay so here html page with client side script returned okay that's what i'm showing that and then what is the applications of scripting language scripting languages are used in web application scripting language very much used in scripting languages and used in system administration okay and then it is used in game application and some multimedia applications in, and it is used to extension for existing application suppose we are we created some other application means then we will use uh, this scripting language to uh, develop um, some extra concepts okay so in that place also scripting language is used okay here we are having one more scripting language which one is javascript so javascript means it is a powerful client side uh, scripting language javascript is used mainly for enhancing the interaction of user with the web page okay so this is uh, use of javascript we are uh, why we are using this javascript so just interaction of user with the web page okay so this javascript was developed by brendan h in 1995 so the language was initially called live script actually they denote they named as live script later only they changed its name javascript okay you understand so this javascript uh, java both are not same javascript is different java is different okay so java is a very complex programming language whereas javascript is only a scripting language so we are using uh, only script inside the program means this that language is you called javascript okay but java is not like that the java is a programming language so being a scripting language javascript cannot run on its own that is the important point so in scripting language already i told you uh, there are uh, two uh, places scripting language should be run one is client side another one is server side okay okay so in fact uh, the browser is responsible for running javascript code okay who is responsible this javascript code only the responsible for are running this javascript coding okay and then what are all the tools you need to write this scripting language means you can use normal text editor of your choice for example notepad plus plus visual studio code sublime text atom or any other text editing tool you can use okay so you can use any web browser for example we know Uh, internet explorer chrome firefox and then microsoft edge so like that you can use any one of uh, browser uh, for running this program how to add javascript into an html document so you know all web pages are uh, created by using html program here we 
uh, we are going to add this javascript into html document okay where how we include in that job uh, sorry html document by using the script tag there are some tags available in java uh, that is used to add the coding into the html document okay and then by specifying a file of javascript code some file uh, you can uh, use uh, and then by specifying a javascript expression okay as the value of an html attribute finally by using event handler within certain other html tag some event handlers are available in html so uh, you can use that handler uh, then uh, then you connect or add that code javascript code into html okay okay what is the script tag so script tag should be entered like this only for example less than uh, then script and last, last one greater than so this tag is an extension to html tag that can enclose any number of javascript statement as shown here example here script script javascript statement slash script a document can have multiple script tags and each can enclose any number of javascript statement Uh, here i am giving one hello world program here uh, you know you all know uh, how to write a html program so html tag and then body tag inside the body tag only we should give the scripting code okay so here uh, see that script language equal to javascript and then document dot write hello comma world okay so here we are ending the script tag and then body tag and then html tag this is the simple example for uh, adding script language into the html code you understand thank you